Meanwhile, joining us now to talk boxing is the Nigerian-born light welterweight Olesegun Ojose, who is a former African, British and Commonwealth champion, and his promoter Ben Gray from World Class Athletes. Now, Ojose has been, just been signed by Al Heyman, who is Floyd Mayweather's junior's manager. Ojose has won 32 professional fights, winning 14 of them by knockouts. Now, gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me this evening. You, some great news thank about you your new signing. Yeah, oh, no, any time, any time. <laughs> but some great news about your new manager. What does this mean for you? Uh, it means a lot because uh, I've been sidelined uh, for a while uh, because of politics and boxing. So you need, some, you need a strong man in your corner. So fortunately, he, he wanted to work with me. That is Haleman. So uh, I'm glad to work with him, to work with him now, uh, which means there will be opportunities for me. Okay. Well, Ben, how big an opportunity is this? Uh, it's huge, um, Samantha. He's the most powerful man in world boxing. Um, he's got, I think, three TV deals in the States. Mm -hmm. So there'll definitely be uh, opportunities for Jose to fight in front of large audiences in the very near future. Uh, that's brilliant news. You said before that you've been sidelined. Who have you been sidelined by? Uh, well, I was number one contender in the world for three years, and I wasn't given the opportunity to fight for a world title. That was, I mean, that's crazy by any standard. But normally, if you're a number one contender, the champion should fight you. If the champion doesn't want to fight you, the, the governing body strip him mm -hmm. uh, so that you can fight it. The number one contender will fight number two contender. But I was number one contender for like three years. I didn't get the opportunity because I didn't have a strong man in my corner. Mm -hmm. I couldn't play the politics. And I'm not a politician. I just want to fight. Yeah. But well, now you've got a very strong man in your corner, so hopefully yeah. you will get um, another fight. I mean, talking about another fight or the next fight, unfortunately the one in the States this weekend has been cancelled. Why has that been cancelled? Um, well, again, boxing politics, uh, the opponent he was supposed to be fighting is actually uh, fighting someone else now. Um, so, But something else will be arranged. Now we've got uh, Al Heyman working for uh, Jose. Um, something else will get arranged and um, yeah, look forward to announcing quite soon. Great, it's going to say, well, what's, what is the next step? Who do you have your eye on? Uh, for me, I, I have my eye on uh, the current champion at the moment, or well, the current champions, one of them being uh, Danny Garcia. Mm -hmm. He avoided me for many years uh, when he was a champion. Then uh, Lamont Peterson. Both of them are fighting each other next month, so hopefully with at some point in the year, during the, uh, at, at some point at the, uh, this year, probably towards the end of the year, I might be getting a shot at one of these guys. But the main thing for me is to uh, take it a step at a time. Mm -hmm. That is me winning my next fight. So whoever is going to be is going to be on the opposite opposite corner mm -hmm. in my next fight is in trouble. Well, well because let's hope so. <laughs> because let's I, hope because so. I have That's to win. Fighting talk. I love so that. So provided I win that, then. I'll be fighting uh, one of these guys. Well, how frustrating is it for both of you when a fight like this is cancelled, but you've put so much into it, so yeah. much training and preparation? Yeah, it's, re it's really hard, but then, you know, uh, I've developed thick skin all, you know, over the years, because uh, when, I was, when I was in this country, I was here before I moved to the US. Mm -hmm. When I was here, I it got to a stage whereby nobody was going to fight me anymore. I was a British champion. I was a Commonwealth champion. I wanted to fight the likes of Ricky Hatton, mm -hmm. Junior he Junior Wita, but they wouldn't fight me. They just were scared. So I was like, okay, you know what? Maybe I should go to the US. Mm -hmm. So I went to the US. The same thing happened. So you know, that's the way it is. Well, how do you find the next fighters? I mean, like you said, they were ducking him. So uh, it must be, again, again, frustration on both of your parts. You want yeah. to get involved, you want to get into it, but no one will absolutely. show and, up. Absolutely. And uh, this is actually one of the, sort of the major points. Um, uh, Ajose has been at the top of the uh, game for many years now, um, and there's basically been a real uh, lack of support from uh, Nigeria. Mm -hmm. If he was Britain, British or America, he'd be world champion by now. Is this the politics that you were talking this, about? Well, this is part of the politics. Each, and, and each um, uh, fighter has some people supporting them financially so they don't have to work, so they can train properly. And uh, Jose has not had that. Uh, he's just not had that support network. So uh, one of the things we'll be doing is speaking to some Nigerian businesses and uh, the government after the election, and we'll basically um, be asking them to support their world-class athletes so they can bring glory back to Nigeria.
So is this what's going to happen now that you've got Heyman in your corner, quite literally in your corner? Yeah, Heyman is de uh, dealing with the boxing side. I, I, I've been fortunate to have Ben, and I've been fortunate to have uh, Bimbo Roberts, who is the, the head of the uh, Nigerian business in diaspora. Uh, he's been helping, helping out to try and uh, source for sponsor. And that once we get a sponsor, that will help us a lot in terms of uh, having a strong, uh, having a good camp mm -hmm. to prepare properly for a fight. I all, I've, I've almost never prepared for any fight. I've always been training hard, but training hard is different from preparation. Yeah. So hopefully, with the, with the backing of some corporate bodies from the Nigerian uh, side, I might, I might have enough money to prepare properly for, for well, my so next how, fight. How important is it for you that you get Nigerian back and that is where you were born that it is, is your country. really really important and you got to understand the fact that I represented Nigeria many years mm -hmm. I won gold in the all African games in 1999 in Johannesburg I, I represented I represented Nigeria in the Olympics in Sydney so you know and as a pro I've always represented Nigeria every time I box I, I either we are bad to the ring you know I'm, I'm, I'm just a pro a pro Nigerian man mm -hmm. and to not get support from Nigeria, it's not really, it's not, it's not something uh, one would be happy about. It's very emotional, I can Yeah, imagine. it is. But hopefully, that that's going to change very soon. Okay. Well, one last question. Uh, apparently, the way you got into boxing is uh, you got beaten up by a girl. Oh no! You shouldn't have said no? that. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, that was a long time ago. Uh, that was, you know, I was six years old then. So they got me into, they con, they conned me into sparring against that girl. So she ended up knocking me out. <laughs> Okay, well, gentlemen, thank you very thank much you. for joining me this thank evening. You.